Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So recently, Lego was running a really awesome gift with purchase that we had to pick up. It was the Forest Hideout. So this is a gift with purchase. Um, it's about 250 pieces. It's 40567. Um, we had to pick this up to get some of the awesome minifigs. Um, and I thought this would look really good in our medieval area of our Lego city. So um, we picked some stuff up from Lego's Bricks and Pieces to qualify for this gift with purchase. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that we got. So we picked this stuff up during Father's Day. They were also running a, another gift with purchase. Um, this is 30434, it's a Speed Champions poly bag. So got that, add it to a collection. And the first thing we picked up was a whole bunch of art plates. So we picked up seven of the art plates. Um, these were back in stock under bestsellers. So uh, we have a project coming up um, that we saw on, I believe, Rebrickable for a really awesome um, moon art that shows all the landing sites of all the Apollo missions. So I think that would go really nice with all the space theme stuff that I have. So we went ahead and picked these up since they had them back in stock. As soon as I get some time, I'm gonna grind through this project because I really wanna get this done and add it to the Lego room. Right, so to qualify for this gift with purchase, you had to spend over $150 on Lego's website while they were running this gift with purchase. So the rest of our $150 haul is in this bag. So let's go ahead and dive into that now. All right, so this is absolute chaos. I have no idea why Lego decides to just put all this stuff in one giant bag and then just ship it to the customer. It's crazy. I don't know why they, they have to pick these parts individually. So I don't know why they can't separate them as they go. Um, but we're going to separate them so we can take a closer look. But you may be able to see we got some more Black Falcon minifig parts. We got some helmets. We got some bows. There's a focus. There we go. Some bows. Um, we also got some leg pieces they were out of the uh torso pieces so i'm gonna have to either wait for those to come back in stock or pick up some on bricklink um we also got some armor pieces as well as some helmets very cool um and then we got a ton of these nougat masonry bricks these are going to be for our um what is it, the uh, sitcom complex. I think I'm gonna need a ton of these bricks. So we picked up, I think 400 of those, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then we got just a ton of different color studs. Um, and we got some of these, let's see, black uh, skeleton legs for our palace cinema part out. It's one of the parts we needed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and separate all this stuff so we can look at it individually. All right, so it took us about 30 minutes. We got everything separated. We're gonna start on this side of the table and we'll work our way that way. So here we have about a thousand studs in um, three different colors. We've got about 550 of the light bluish gray, a little over 350 of the white, and then in the studs, the dark bluish gray studs, about 150 of those. Um, so those are all for our moon art. I think the thing calls for right about 2,000 or so studs, a little over 2,000 studs all together, and we have the majority of those in the collection. So um, about 1,000 that we had to order. We're going to be starting on that project ASAP. All right, let's slide down a little bit, talk about all of this here. This was kind of the bulk of the order. I um, went ahead and picked up some of the Black Falcon Knight lower torsos, 20 of those, or legs, um, 20 of those. Those, I've got to pick up the upper torsos to go with those, like, probably on my next Bricklink order. Hopefully, they restock them on bricks and pieces soon. Um, we picked up 10 of the Crusader helmets, 10 of the, what I'm calling the Archer helmets, and then we've got um, 10 of the shield pieces, 5 bows, and then 10, um, actually 20 of the shoulder pauldrons. So, these are going to be to help flush out our immediate like royal guard um kind of our infantry units and stuff for our black falcon uh army or squad it's eh, i want to say army but i don't know if we're going to go that deep on it it's going to be a, a relatively small army these are kind of what i have planned for these pieces so this is going to be what one of our archer figs looks like we've got the quiver on the back bow in hand and then the archer helmet there 
We've got some of our Vanguard Knights. So these are going to be Knights that are in the uh, on the front lines. Um, they've got the Crusader Helmets, Pauldron Shield, and then Short Sword. We've got some of our Berserker Knights. So they've got the Crusader Helmet, the Shoulder Pauldron, and then two Short Swords. I think that looks really cool. And we have some of our Rear Guard, which is going to be like our King's Guard. Um, they've got the nice long broadsword, shoulder pauldron, crusader helmet, and then the blue tough feather here on the top. I only have one more of these. I've got to order some more off of Bricklink when I order some more of the quivers. But that's it for our Black Falcon parts. They also had a nice door piece. I want to work this into like a tavern build that I'm working on. So um, this is a really nice pickup. It's in dark brown, um, which is a really, really nice color. I think that's gonna look really nice. And then we also picked up some builds for our palace cinema. So we needed a couple of these little real pieces. These are for the movie projector. This is also for the movie projector build, as is this. And then we picked up some of these black skeleton legs that I showed you earlier. These are for the railing on the outside of the movie theater. So we got some of those. And then the largest amount of parts that we ordered, um, well, at least it feels like the largest, 400 of the nougat bricks. These are going to be for our sitcom complex. We are hopefully starting on that project soon. Um, I cannot wait to start using all of these parts and pieces. Um, we have a ton of work right now in the Lego room, and we also have a ton of stuff going on here at the house. So we're trying to bang out some of these custom projects, as well as expand the Lego city, um, as well as expand our medieval area and clear out some of the backlog. So, whew, man, do we have our hands full, but that's gonna do it for this Lego Bricks and Pieces haul. Uh, hopefully you'll see some of these projects coming up really soon on the channel. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like button. And if you are new to the channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Um, doesn't cost you guys anything to subscribe, but it means the world to me, helps the channel grow, and it gets this content out to you guys as soon as it comes out. Also, 600 subscriber giveaways coming up soon. So if you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now so you'll be entered to win. We'll probably be doing that giveaway hopefully uh, late this week, early next week. So that's coming soon on the channel. Really, really appreciate all the love and support, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.